powers are really important and actually, I'm sorry to say, powerful in mathematics. And so dealing with exponents and the properties of exponents in, in combining them algebraically with different rules, it's really important to get that down. I want us to practice some of those things and see those things live. First of all, let's just remember what an exponent means with a couple of simple examples. If we take a look at this, this is the quantity 5x cubed. That means that we're going to have 5x multiplied five times. So if we were to expand this out, we would see 5x times 5x times 5x, not five times, but three times. Three times. One, two, three to correspond with the exponent here. 5x cubed. That's what it means to write things out in expanded form. Let's take a look at this. Here if we write out minus y cubed, a little bit tricky because that negative sign technically is going to be held to the very, very end by the, by the orders of operation. First, we have to actually cube the y. So what that means is we're going to see y appearing three times. So I've got that negative sign way out in front. And in expanded form, we'd see y times y times y. That's the expanded version of minus y cubed. Look at this thing. Wow, this is going to be sort of crazy to write out. Let's try it, though, and see if we can do it. Write this out in expanded form. Again, that negative sign is just going to be held out to the very, 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 very bitter end. So we have a negative sign. Then we've got the 3. And then we've got x squared. So that's two copies of x multiplied together. And then we've got z plus 1, not once. z plus 1, not twice. z plus 1, not three times. But z plus 1 multiplied by itself four times, because the exponent is 4. So that's how you can expand things out. And that is what an exponent means. And if you think that way, you can never make mistakes. Have fun with these thinking about the notion of an exponent. Fun.